hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see how to actually achieve your goals in 2022 we all know that we may write our goals we may want to achieve them in the first year and just achieve them and be happy but what happens in the middle of the year you just forget that goal and you don't even care about what you wrote in your bullet journal or planner and you really don't want to achieve that goal or you don't have time for that goal so how to actually achieve your goals within a time limit or within a specific time that you have given to yourself so the first step is to envision your life before setting your goal in different topics so let's say you are setting a goal that you want to learn calligraphy but you may have a drawback that you if you learn calligraphy you will definitely forget your real cursive writing or a real print writing then you need to think of the drawback and also the profits of that particular particular habit that you are achieving so you need to know if that is possible for you to control or possible for you to do in the year if you think that it's not good or i don't want my cursor writing to go then you don't want to do it or change it to a different goal but if you want to do it even if your handwriting becomes really bad uh, stitchy or something like that then you will go to learn that particular habit so this is the first tip and the second tip is to then ask yourself in this particular year what are the dreams and goals that I want to achieve and why this has an important word want to achieve and why so there must be some some goals that you need to achieve in that year like uh, write 10 storybooks if you're an author and you just have to need to do it but this is want to do it like learning a new habit and stuff like that and you also have to mention why are you doing it what is the reason you are doing it? how are you doing it you need to ask lots and lots of questions before knowing your goal so wait a minute you may ask I am, I am saying irrelevant tips right that's because firstly you need to know why do you set goals first you need to know why do you set goals that's why I told you to envision your life before setting goals and then ask yourself the question why and without knowing the vision it is useless of setting goals and finishing the goals without knowing the why. So without any further ado, let's get into the real tips. So the first tip is to first have the why. You may ask, again coming to the same wheel? No, this is something different. The first tip is to first have the why for every single goal. Okay. Let's say you have a goal to achieve at least 10,000, um, you know, um, sub subscribers in a YouTube channel this year. And without a reason, you go into your uh, into the year and achieve that goal. But you didn't know why did you do it or for what reason in the first place did you write that goal. And without knowing the reason, you are being ungrateful and dissatisfied. So first... The most important thing is to focus on the why. So even if you really didn't want to know the why reason, you will go in there, but you not have the satisfaction or gratefulness to your subscribers and anything like that. So if you known, if you have known that it is because I really want to, um, you know, earn money or give them the qualityest content that they ever have seen or something like that. So you have to know that it's like a goal that you have, but if if that a reason why, you don't know why you're doing it. I don't want to do it. Like you'll see it, but you don't do it if you don't have a reason. So yeah, guys, I hope I'm not confusing you. The tip two is to be specific with that particular goal and should be achievable or controllable in your life. Okay, let's say you want to learn Korean. 
let's uh it's, you know like a, just an example and you are writing that korean means writing that learn korean in one week is it possible actually no it is impossible for a human being so the goal you write should be achievable and possible to complete and if you like if you like um, write that goal it has to be specific now let's come to that so let's say you have the same goal but this time you're writing just learn something just learn something you do not uh, list what topic you are going to learn and in, and in like what topic you're going to learn and in the middle of the year it will make you think what to learn and you learn lots of things like you know learning calligraphy learning korean and learning how to edit and everything like that you are starting to learn with excitement and eagerness and everything like that but in the middle of the year you get so overwhelmed with loads loads of uh, things that you are learning right now so you are learning calligraphy and you are becoming a master at it but you are getting overwhelmed in learning process and you are learning the korean but you are not able to understand it and you are overwhelmed in the process and what happens is that you stop learning everything and um, yeah everything is damaged so this is an experience that i have had like past for a few years uh, last year or that i have to learn something and i learned to edit i learned to calligraphy i learned to organize and i also learned to even draw certain things and it overwhelmed me and i'm not even that good at drawing now i'm just good at calligraphy and editing like editing a bit so you need to know be specific with that particular goal you don't need to experience what i experience just have one goal or two goals max throughout the year to complete okay we are moving on to the last and final tip if this video is very boring i'm really really sorry i really wanted to help you but if it is not boring comment in the comment box that it was not boring <laughs> okay yeah third the last and final tip is set a deadline to that particular goal so yeah let's say that you are having a goal to start a online business or anything like that or an internship or anything like that then you just leave it like that so when the year gets started you are seeing that goal and slowly getting started we're getting started but you're slowly getting started then with a flash of a second it becomes 2023 so like in the january we're just collecting the designs and then drawing it and you're just moving on with the process really really slowly slower than a snail and in the december only you are figuring out the shipping process and everything like that and in the flash of a second it becomes 2023 oh my gosh the goal has been banished <laughs> so what i say is to keep a deadline for each task so now let's look at the same situation after setting a deadline so let's say you are keeping a deadline for about three months and uh, as have you'll have uh, say figured out a deadline and kept the deadline you are spending that three months really really wisely we are keeping january february in march the january i figure out the designs i figure out the shipment i figure out every single packing process everything related to the website the management etc 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 and on february you are starting the business how did that happen because you set a set a deadline and in the march you have one month left and you are thinking why did i complete this this early and you are thinking that i could do more publicity and you are doing more publicity to your shop and your shop becomes successful it becomes the best shop that an, that the india has seen just kidding but you know like just imagine so so after you set a deadline you'll be greater means grateful to yourself after finishing that goal 
because that's the thing that really helped me right now because i set my deadline in 2021 to start a youtube channel by the end of january and i started it now i'm running it so i'm really happy about it and yeah guys this is an experience too so just remember to set deadlines for each and every single task so thank you for watching subscribe like comment and share bye guys see you next week with another brand new video Bye guys.